Hello and welcome to All Math Considered. In this video, we will look at the standard problem of finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix. So let us find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the following matrix. Two zero 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 two two zero zero one minus one two minus one zero one minus one two. So let's call this matrix A. So of course we are looking for uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a, a linear map, which is given by this matrix. But to keep things short, we'll just say that we are looking for eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix. And also, we would like to decide, does there exist, does there exist a basis of eigenvectors? Okay, so the solution. So let us remember that as eigenvalues are all lambda such that the matrix A minus lambda E is singular. In other words, A minus lambda I times the vector V equal to zero has a solution which is different from zero. We know that this can be decided by determinant of this matrix. So we are looking for all lambda such that the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to zero. The matrix a minus lambda i is equal to two minus lambda zero 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 two two minus lambda zero zero one minus one two minus lambda minus one zero one minus one two minus lambda. So just subtract lambda from the main diagonal. There are different methods to calculate this determinant. For example, we can take a row expansion and see that since there is only one non-zero entry in the first row, so determinant of that. So this determinant will be equal to two minus lambda determinant. So determinant of this. Two minus lambda determinant of a three by three matrix which we find here, which is two minus lambda, zero, zero, minus one, two minus lambda, minus one, one minus one, two minus lambda. Repeating the same argument of the, for example, first row expansion. This is the only non-zero entry in the first row. So this determinant is equal to two minus lambda times determinant of the two by two matrix. So this together gives two minus lambda squared determinant of 2 minus lambda minus 1 minus 1 2 minus lambda which is equal to once again 2 minus lambda square determinant of 2 minus lambda minus 1 minus 1 2 minus lambda which is lambda minus 2 squared and here we have lambda minus 2 squared minus 1 which is the same as lambda minus 2 squared and this is lambda minus two squared minus one square, so the difference of two squares. So this is uh, lambda minus two plus one and lambda minus two minus one. So this is gonna be lambda minus one times lambda minus three. So we conclude that the eigenvalues are one, two, and three. And the algebraic multiplicities meaning how often we have this root in the polynomial, the algebraic multiplicities are 1, 2, 1. So as a next step, we'll look for eigenvectors, which will form corresponding eigenspaces to these eigenvalues. So we need to calculate the eigenspaces, which we will denote by E A of 1, E A of 2, and E A of 3. And we know that the dimensions of them are the geometric multiplicities of the of the eigenvalues. Okay. 
So this is geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue. And we know that the geometric multiplicity is at least one, and at most the algebraic multiplicity. So we know that the dimension of E a1 is equal to dimension of E a3 and equal to 1. This is so-called simple roots of the polynomial. And the dimension of E a2 is between 1 and 2. And depending on whether it's 1 or 2, we will know if we have a basis of eigenvectors or not. So let's calculate this eigenspace. We start with eigenvalue lambda equal to 1. So we need to solve this equation, which is same as a minus i is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1. This is what happens if we subtract 1 from the main diagonal of a and times v, that's a 4 vector, so let's denote its coordinate x, y, z, and t. And so we will have a vector that should be equal to 0, but if we multiply this out, we'll have a vector x, y, x minus y plus z minus t, and y minus z plus t. So if we look at the 0, we conclude that x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. From the third equation, we see x minus y plus z minus t, x and y is 0, so z must be equal to t. And the fourth equation is not necessary, it will be fulfilled. So the solution is that E a1 is generated by the vector 0, 0, 1, 1. It's a line spanned by this vector. Let us now continue with the eigenvalue lambda equal to 3. To calculate E A3, we need to solve the equation 0 equal to A minus 3i V. So A minus 3i, we have to subtract 3 from the diagonal. We'll have minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, and 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1. Multiplying this by a four vector x, y, z, t, we'll have minus x, 2x minus y, x minus y minus z minus t, and y minus z minus t. Since this is equal to 0, we conclude that x is equal to 0. From the second equation, we conclude that y is equal to 0 also. And from the third equation, we conclude that z is equal to minus t. Fourth equation is automatically satisfied, and so E A3 is spent by the vector 0, 0, 1, minus 1. Finally, we look at the eigenvalue lambda equal to 2. This is the eigenvalue with algebraic multiplicity 2, so we need to decide its geometric multiplicity. We need to solve the equation 0 equal to a minus 2 a minus 2 i v. Subtracting 2 from the main diagonal, we obtain the matrix 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0. Multiplying this by x, y, z, t, we'll obtain the vector 0, 2, x, x minus y minus t and y minus z. Setting this to 0, we see that x must be 0, y plus t is equal to 0, and y is equal to z. The second equation can also be written as t equal to minus y, so both z and t can be expressed through y, and we can conclude that this is a one-dimensional space, this is a line EA2, which is spent by the vector 0, 1, z is equal to y, and t is minus y. 
So this is the eigenspace for the eigenvalue 2. We have now three eigenspaces. Each one is a line. Together, they give dimension 3. And the total space has dimension 4. So there is, there is no... So the answer is that there is no base eigenvector basis. And this is a master solution for the problem of determining eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and eigenspaces of a matrix, in this case, 4x4 four four matrix.